Hello, Hello everyone. <laughs> so today we are here as we got bombarded by for last three four months after I started the channel and before that also like we had a lot of questions, uh, especially from you like uh, what are the different problems and challenges and other types of questions during a PhD and you might have seen Nadi because he also co collaborated with me before in some. Uh, videos so he's also going to help because he also got many questions during uh, what happens during a PhD and what are the other questions surrounding that. At the moment a very interesting question we've got and that, that's a question that, that really was um, uh, striking to me and the question is uh, which uh, preliminary study do you need to be able to do a PhD or uh, otherwise which uh, study is uh, really uh, giving you the benefit of uh, and making it possible to, to, to get into a PhD. Now normally, uh, the, most of the time you see that uh, people who finish the master's, uh, master's degree, they uh, want to step up and do a PhD. Uh, if you have the capacities and the possibilities and uh, um, uh, you have the, the possibility for doing, it's doable with an applied science uh, degree or, or maybe less but the really main topic is you, you can think uh, um, about uh, uh, you th can think as a researcher you have to do uh, writing uh, on a uh, on a university level uh, scientific writing is really important and if you don't have those capacities uh, th then it would be really a struggle and, and normally you see uh, people who did a master's degree mm. they, they have proven yeah. they have those um, the qualifications true. i mean when you're writing the thesis then yeah. it, i mean my writing skill personally improved a lot because yeah. you get that rigorous uh, feedback every week and then you improve a lot in your yeah. writing yeah. scientific writing my, mine also did so so i, I give you a strong advice uh, please do first the masters uh, get your master's degree before you're thinking about doing a pg that will really make your life a whole lot easier and, and you have a strong formation for yourself okay let's look at uh, the other question you've had yeah so the last question from my side was the i got a lot of times like what should you mention in the cv in a, for a phd and what should you mention for the uh, when you write the research proposal in the final round if you are asked so because sometimes you are asked to write a short research proposal like a half a page or one a4 page then what should you actually mention i think about the research proposal you can check my skype uh, call which i uploaded few days back a few months back like you can check that to get a glimpse of what happens during the proposal like you mentioned mainly your abstract research questions and other things like your brief background and no one expects you to write the methods and the results and all those things what do you expect but look at that video and you can know more about it so about the cv i will make a separate video on it to highlight because that's a big Thing. So I'll give you a model CV, what I did and what you can do and which template you can follow. But to be in brief, so ideally in Netherlands, the limit is two pages for a CV, uh, maybe job or maybe I think it's two, right? Two, yeah. Two, yeah. yeah. So it's not like US, you have to write, compress everything in one page. So in two pages, you can mention mostly, I will leave the template below and I'll make another video. So mostly it's like your, you start with your chronological order with your educational qualifications, mm -hmm. what you did, mm -hmm. and then you describe some of your background like any projects or internships yeah. or my, uh, how many experience you already have with yeah. doing research and uh, scientifically writing so that's really important that, that you bring that strong up that that uh, someone who reads your cv uh, can, can look at it and can say oh this is really a, an interesting candidate we have we have to to invite for for an interview uh, so make clear and sure that you have those experiences and, yeah. and, and maybe you've got something already published. Published, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah, Publication that, help a lot. Yeah, that gives you a lot of benefits. So, and so then people yeah. start trusting that you have this writing skill or yeah. you already know what it takes to yeah. be in that challenge. Yeah, yeah. So, so any uh, research experience and writing experience will help, will help a lot. Yeah. Enjoy the different parts of the videos and Please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video. And comment below on all the things that we mentioned so that we can make future videos and we know what are your problems. Yeah. If you don't leave the comments, if you remain silent, then yeah. we won't know. So yeah. 
thank you Nadi again for collaborating with this nice Thanks for the invite. Yeah, yeah. and it was a pleasure. <laughs> it will be going on like this yeah. to give you guys all benefits. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Till yeah. next time. Peace. Yeah.